uh, yeah, basically what I did is I changed where chat location should sit. I've changed which chat appears on the screen now that I've had time to like adjust to Streamlabs and the Twitch overlay and all sorts of shit, right? So um, instead of it just being like, you know, the little X and stuff that appears usually up around here somewhere, that won't be hopefully visible unless I'm on like, like the just chatting screen or something. So now chat should appear over here, I believe, somewhere over here, um, which shouldn't be, shouldn't really be a problem. There we go. There it is. So hopefully that's not going to be a problem to read, no different than over here. But when I open up a menu, it's not going to blot out in here. So it's, it's no longer going to be that difficult to read as when I've got this open. So yeah, I changed something and just let you know. So welcome in Ghostly. Um, so it might be confusing where we're up to and what we're doing because I had to reload last week and um, it was confusing for me too and there's a few things that I need to check on around my map and that's um, we got to defoliate a ship land it's just down here All right so I could have rolled back to exactly after this thing landed or I could have like done the couple of traders that we had and like this is half a day later after this has landed so now we're in context of where the fuck we are and shit so yeah it was a little confusing for me too um just because i like rolled it back right at the end of stream basically what's been happening is um just my colony is still really pissed off from we sent out a caravan to an attack quest we sent 25 people and only 17 people came back and those 17 people ate the others so I'm not really happy about that, but the rest of my colony is really not happy about that. So the problem what we've got is basically my entire colony at the moment is upset for like five more days. So when it's like the 14th of, um, when it's the 14th of whatever, whatever month we're in, hold on, I clicked on something, uh, April, May, then I can probably attack them. In the meantime, we're going to have the defoliator ship slowly getting bigger on the map. I'm just trying to find where eggs are because, um, yeah, that one doesn't allow fertile eggs. They brought in all the eggs during winter. As long as you don't set something inside on fire, that's fine, Al. So the other thing, too, is I got the combat supplier ship had this mush. I'm just going to see if I can get somebody nearby just to bring this up and in if somebody's not already that is hauling there we go because there's a lot of meat here a lot of insect meat and they will eat it if it's cooked into something they just don't greatly like it so basically the go is this thing's just going to keep getting bigger and at the rate it's going it's actually getting pretty big pretty quick so it's going to take over pretty fast but if we can get five days with this thing here without somebody coming over and kicking it I'm going to have to be careful when I see people doing tantrums and shit because that could legitimately activate it, you know. So get these turned off. They're not supposed to have power. Somebody's got to come down and turn them off. Um, I checked on the eggs. I've got somebody's bringing the meat in. Not all of it, but we'll work on that. And I think I have one more caravan coming in. That should be about where we're up to. The other thing too is I know that I changed the animals to breed more. But I'm going to turn this back down again. So as long as we can get a couple of adult animals, uh, like at least have a couple of males, that would be great. But I need to kind of get them culling a little bit. And I need this to go back down to 10. I think I had it on 5 at one point. So yeah. But apparently we still don't have quite enough food. We've got a bit of food in storage. But I, I need to increase this slower than I am. Because I'm usually so used to my people just being fine. So I don't usually have to worry about them. Um, you are safe. But yeah, this is a case of everybody's still kind of pissed off. And I've just got to like take it a little bit easier because of that. So yeah. I think Orange is our only prisoner moment. Uh, yep. Yeah, they're our only prisoner. Oh, hello there, Viking gives head pats. No. I'm going to lay down wait until I have the snow level watch the snow. I love that you've got snow at the moment, Viking. Um, I've got a few people in the hospital. 
I can't quite remember. I think these are all just people that have had punch-ups. They've been upset and they've been in punch-ups and stuff. None of them are critical. Nobody's tried to fight the mechs. Nothing like that. I just have to make sure if somebody goes on a tantrum or whatever, they don't get down here. Because if they kick this and it kicks off, like one of them wakes up, uh, that's when we've got a problem. The other thing too is I was hoping to have turrets down here, but I do not. So what I want to do is I kind of want to bring some of these turrets down. Because the hell was that? Is that a chicken? Oh yeah, I heard this just get cold. I'm like, what the fuck was that noise? You know when the game goes like really silent, doesn't have music for a moment, and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to bring down a lot of turrets, and I'm hoping that they won't just automatically shoot or something. I'm hoping that like maybe they're not going to be automatically powered so that I can bring them down and use them. I know that this leaves up here a bit open and vulnerable, but... Whatever, I get all of my attacks down here anyway, so it's too far away from a medical bed at the moment. And my thought process is, I have a plan. Right, this this actually came to me after watching back one of my thoughts. Is I have a plan for this um, ancient danger that I'm gonna open. I've opened it once, and I'm I know it's got mechs, but I don't know exactly what's inside, and I did not watch that part again for the purpose of I want to be kind of blindsided by what else is in there right so I know it's a, there's a mech in there but my plan for this was to pop it open on the outside near the turrets and have the turrets help take them out while I have people standing over here or something right and because I thought of that I'm like I should do that over here I should bring my turrets down and stand behind my motherfucking turrets since they're scythers so yeah hopefully that's gonna help me I'm sorry but I'll be I uh, won't be watching as much and getting sick, so I need to try to rest. Be every once in a while, say hi. Hope stream goes well. That's okay. It's a shame to hear that you've like caught a cold or something ghostly. I hope you get better soon. Um, just like a friendly reminder for everybody, is that there's no obligation to be here. Like I appreciate you guys like spending your time and like chilling and stuff here and whatever, but like don't feel pressured to be here. Like if you've got stuff going on in real life or like in this case, like you need to rest. Please just rest. It makes me happy to know that, like, you know, on the times when you do have time, you want to be here, you can be here, but, like, don't force yourself to be here. Get yourself some rest. Um, everybody remember to, like, look after yourselves, you know. Um, that's that's the main thing to me is just take care of yourselves. Or, Greek, can you maybe take the eggs? I oh, know they're all fertile. They can stay there. Um, yeah. I, um... Out of interest, I never know who's here unless somebody talks. So, like, most of the time I just assume that, like, somebody might be here, but I never really know. Um, like, I just kind of know that, like, people pop in, pop out, and, like, yeah. It's got the freedom to, like, talk or rest or tune in and not talk or... Or like what Shadow did the other day is uh, tune in and not have sound and stuff like that. Like, unless you say something, I got no idea that you're here. But I always appreciate knowing if you've, like, let me know and stuff that you're here. Because, like, otherwise I assume that I'm, like, basically, like, I guess talking to myself. I assume I'm talking to somebody, but, you know, it's it's a non-specific situation. It's, it's weird. Streaming is a, a weird occupation. I'll say that much. Um... Says it goes these side, waking to happily to make him feel better. No, that's sweet, Viking. You you definitely cuddle up and keep him warm. Will do. Thank you so much, Viking. Give Street and scratches. Yeah, Viking. Viking will always stay by your side if he's around and you're not well. So if you ever want to cuddle like a big wolf and you're not feeling well and stuff like that, you know, if Viking happens to be here and awake and stuff, just like give him a heads up and uh, he'll probably give you snuggles and stuff. He's very friendly. And he's very sweet. I'm gonna have some of my drink. Hold on. I'll happily receives treats and scratches. Nods head. Yeah. Yeah, Viking sweet as. Um. So yeah, I kind of plan to like, if I can, maybe decimate these guys. If I can get one more turret down here. My only problem is, I gotta get power. And if these got power, this area's got power. I just gotta get a little bit more electricity caught around the corner. I'm just checking. I've got 
enough steel for this. So I've got power going up. I've got that connected. So when they come in here, they should be connected. I just don't know that one's not going to reach. I have to go down there. Okay, so if they can build that, and if I can grab an extra turret. Yeah, that one's the last one that's been allocated. That one might be. That one is. That one is. Yep, those ones. That one's not. All right, I can put one more turret down here. So what I'm thinking is, how many is this going to be? Nine. That's not a lot, but it's still better than nothing. Because, like, it might be enough to, like, do, like, a solid attack. And if my people are standing far enough back, I might be able to shoot through them. And the Scythers might actually attack these first. So what I'm kind of planning to do is I've got to wait, first of all, till my people aren't upset. Which is going to be about the 14th. So I'm hoping that we can get that far without somebody kicking one of these things. Um... I'm hoping that this doesn't expand out too much. I'm going to send some people down here for like tree cutting because this is actually expanding pretty quick these days. So what I want to do is when we're ready to fight this, which is going to be a couple of days from now, is I'm going to send down a couple of the EMP blasters and have them stand around about here if I can and get them to shoot and wake them up, stun a couple, and then my EMP blasters will run back behind the line. I'll have my shooters all the way back up here which will be attracting them over here as well. So then they've got to run past the turrets, which I do hope that they don't shoot inactive targets. That's my hope. And then, yeah, I'll have like the rest of my people in and around the area to help out and stuff. So I'm hoping to take this on with the least amount of casualties because the way that I was doing it where I was attacking them uh, was causing too much death and everybody was upset and hungry anyway so now I've culled a bunch of animals so they've got themselves some food <clears throat> so I shouldn't have to worry about that we've got everybody's getting some rest for the most part once I've got all the beds built by the way I'll kick off these like other beds I'll get rid of these and then I'll set all the normal beds to be like prison areas kick everybody out of their beds and then I'll like let them back in and uh that way everybody will get to go pick themselves a new bed you know so hopefully that's going to help um i had where is it quest grasshoppers collection that's 13 days away i'm thinking we might get rid of that um only because like the last couple of times that i've tried to take out people we haven't really had enough supplies for it so I'll get rid of this one for the moment I'll leave that I was gonna take it on it was it was a fine gun all that stuff and it wasn't too far away like on the world it would still show back up but um it's only just down here but that's like a week through this section here and then to there like we'd be near people but this is not that much further than where the attack west was and we lost you know a, a half a dozen people to that so I'm not going to stress them out I'm not going to take on quests like, I'll probably still accept quests I think I accidentally accepted that one it was just such a stupid thing I accidentally clicked but yeah I need to get my allies happier I might even call in an ally for this we'll see like I might be good at the turrets so what I'm going to do is if I can find some people that are just awake you look like you're just out here hauling can I before I get you to move anything let me just save this. Let me just save a Sora 2. And what I want to do is I want to see you move one of these turrets down here. Because I don't think that they're going to move. Right? But I just want to put one that's obviously in line with it. And just see it come online because it should automatically power on. I just want to make sure it's not going to shoot that. Because if it's going to shoot that, then I'm going to need everybody to bring a turret down here at the same time. I don't think it's going to shoot an active target, but it's been a while since we've had one of these. So I might as well test it out. But yeah, as far as I can remember, we've only got Scythers. And Scythers are like close range. So, oh jeez. We should be able to take them out. But yeah, uh, after... Oh, purple stones and stuff. If I could get... What are you doing? You're making bulk pemmican tofu. Can you do trees? A little bit, yeah. Can I get you down here on the trees? 
just get you down here. I don't want to piss him off or anything. I, I just want somebody harvesting the things that are closest because we need the wood, right? And the defoliator is going to like just wipe all this out immediately. A lot of this is actually like super harvestable, but it's fine. He should be able to do like this cluster of trees pretty quickly. I'll send somebody in for the rest. Like this little area down here will be fine. Probably should have gone straight over for that. But yeah, once he's got like this little area, he can go off and do something else. I know he was gonna do cooking, and cooking is important, but I have a lot of people cooking, which reminds me. <laughs> I just remembered these bastards. This is where my steel is going. These are supposed to get moved, and these ones I don't want powered on at the moment. There we go. Alright, now I remembered that. Can I save over a store or two? Because, yeah, I didn't realize that they were making food out here in, like, unideal conditions. Williams, before you stop that, can you flick the switch? Because I know what you're going to do once once he thinks he's cooking. There we go. Okay, so I just don't want them to have power. I don't want them to use it uh, until these are enclosed. That's all I care about. I love that they have a door and they've left metal in it. Okay, here comes Ray. God, Ray took forever to get over here. Like, Tofu's working on the trees and shit. Alright, let's get the rest of these trees marked up down here too. Because I want to get everything that's close by. But I'll probably lose this little bit once this expands out. Because it's going real quick. By five days. Like, we're on the 10th. So we're already one day past it existing. So... I could probably expect it to probably be touching this by then. And I don't mind, like, this area here isn't going to be a heavy harvest zone, but I want the trees. Um, like, they're going to wipe this out too, actually. That's fine. I'll let, I'll let that happen. It should be fine. Just say these areas here. What did I just hit? I hit F. Yeah, allow sewing. Don't allow sewing. I accidentally hit like F instead of like, you know, the WSD keys and I'm like, what did I hit? What did I activate? But yeah, should have animals, should have food, depressive, that's fine. Uh, where is somebody that went on the quest that we had last time? That uh, Camrod, I think, has always got an issue. Kalanos died five, how long? Four more days. Alright, that's not too bad. This is still going to be about the 14th, 15th of April, May. Alright, actually, you know what? That thing has to have moved down by now. Yeah. Uh, it's not powered, though. You should be connected to this. Maybe it's too far out. Hold on. I was building a new one. <laughs> it's one line out. You've got to be shitting me. Alright. Uh, I guess that's why this side doesn't have power because the line for power these ones have got it the truth is I want to put like solar and shit along here but for just like a couple of minutes to do an attack let me just find out if I can put like one more out here I'll just put like a knob there or whatever and it'll be close enough for it to reach it. It would be cheaper than me connecting like a whole heap of lines. But uh, if I just pop that there, like, get, are you able to build? You look like you can. Can you deliver to that instead? Hey, Amia, I know you should be, yeah, you're able to do tree stuff, right? Yeah, somewhat. Cool. So there's a few trees out here that like Tofu's going to get most of those. I uh, can't do plant cutting. It's fine. I love that she's got like a small amount of skills, but she won't do it. You though, Mala. Mala, mate, I see you actively planting. You can do trees. Let's get you up on here. The more trees we get, the more fuel, the more fuel we have, the more wood we've got for the beds. Like the biggest problem we've got is that I've been using a lot of wood from this map for a long time. So we haven't really had surplus wood. I usually sell my allies wood. I've been buying wood. It's been a bizarre like Twilight Zone situation going on in here. Like it's just not natural, you know? Like the natural order is just flipped and reversed and I don't know, mirrors are now you. 
<laughs> Somebody out there is like, the fuck am I tripping on? <laughs> so you're fine. You're, you're perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Don't look too deeply into it, I guess. Probably the best way to say it. Um, I actually did get some sleep, by the way. Just in case anybody was concerned about that. I, um, I was awake for a long time yesterday and then I finally got some sleep. I was like on the verge of getting like a migraine for the first time in months. I'm like, please don't do it. But I think just my eyes were sore. Get you to get all of these trees. If I can have like one or two people working on like a tree cluster at a time, we'll just get rid of it. It would have been easier if I had have like just gone up and then come back down, but that's fine. But yeah, this tree cluster will get done by you. Who else is coming down here to do what? Any blood. Can you do trees? No. Uh, Ram should be able to. I know people are like hiding in rooms and all sorts of shit. I will deal with them in a moment. I'm trying to get these trees out of here so I've got resources, you know? <coughs> Sorry. Um, hey, Joke Meister. Welcome in. Uh, Grimasaurus Grex. I will remember to breathe. Just give me a sec. Also, welcome in. Surprisingly, I do actually breathe. Um, uh, this is like a running joke that we've had for a long time. There's a lot of people think that I don't actually breathe because like the speed in which I talk and the lack of oxygen between uh, conversations. And uh, we used to have this theory that um, maybe I didn't breathe at all. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. I, I do. Because, like, when I added in the reminder to breathe, it was one of the most, if not, like, highest redeemed things I had for a little bit. And um, that's where, like, the theory all sort of started from. It was just, like, funny, silly shit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just glad that, like, oh, the trees are on f I'm not glad that the trees are on fire. I'm just, like, I just noticed that they're on fire. But I was, I'm glad that they're picking up the wood and it's happening while it's raining. The other thing, too is I need to kill things on the map. So has this got wicker power out here yet? It's not finished yet. Campbell, you, if you're going off to build, I know Wall's working on it. I just want to see this activate. There's a lot of people in this area. What are you doing down here? I think with the door. Aren't you a cook? Yeah, you're a cook. The fuck are you doing down here? Um, okay. He walked all the way down here to make part of that door happen. I guess good on him. Oh, well, would have put some of the steel in here. This is why that little spot's not done yet. All right, that makes sense. It's good to see, like, my whole fleet of people out here doing stuff. It's great. I love seeing when I've got, like, all of my various plant people. Val. Ready for impressive bedroom. Maybe one day, Val. When we finish getting the beds done... I'll tell you what will happen is I'll just like set them all to prisoner um, and then uh, everybody can pick their own bedroom and if you happen to get a really impressive bedroom good on you if you choose a shit one I consider that your fault at that point in time yeah Nick's not gonna do murderous rage there we go yeah uh, no he's still good good all right get you to rescue them I realize I accidentally grabbed Bombay for that. Bombay is like uh, Eternal Dipsy's character and they're always on the verge of like maybe dying. And whenever I do a battle, I need to get them some decent armor. I don't have good shit for my people. We just haven't had that luxury. Since we've moved here, the entire focus has been food and shelter and just getting that shit under wraps. And food's been a lot harder than shelter. How are we going? We got this yet? Not yet. Mm, not yet you aren't. See, this is the other thing too, is, um, I might grab you too, is that these guys would be doing this if I was trying to battle, which is what happened last week. So if I was trying to take on the defoliator, they'd all be having these tantrums and the slaughtering and whatever, right, in amongst trying to fight. And that's what happened. Um, we had so many fucking problems with it. Oh, Hedgehog's got inspired creativity from that fight. I love it. Are you good? Let me see your health. 
No, let me let me see your fucking health. Not the rice plant. Oh my god. Hearing loss and frail. It's fine. They really shouldn't be fighting. You got eight days to be inspired about that fight. Good on you. Where's Manatee? Depressive. It's fine. She's all the way up here. Um, hey, this room's pretty much done. This is going to be one of the big storerooms eventually. I'm moving some shit around. So we had like all this, the storerooms. I don't mind it, but I was thinking about like moving it up here and making like additional grow rooms, even though this would be a good grow room. I could turn this into a half grow room. Like, I hadn't really considered that, but I could do it. Whereas these are going to be like kitchen and the um, uh, refrigerated storage areas. This needs to go out of there too. You go out there. This isn't in a good spot anymore. There we go. Get those two moved over. I'm not too worried about that. The other thing too is it's getting warmer. It's now spring. So my only other concern that I've got with spring is the warmth factor and I don't have air conditioners on these yet I also don't have a door moved over onto that yet once we've got a d door there I'll get rid of like the extra bit but I think I need to keep that corner nub so I think air conditioners on this side might be better maybe I can always well what no 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 excuse me why what did Wolverine do? I saw that fucking notification happen right after this. What did they do? I want to see what fuck Wolverine was doing. They might wake up on their own. I don't know. I haven't seen them get up on their own before. It's usually somebody's gone over and kicked one. And if he's going over there, I just want to see if I can, like, arrest him or something or, like, put him in hospital first. Okay, hold on. The hell were you doing? Was it Wolverine? Oh, because he's hunting the motherfucking rabbit. How about you don't hunt the rabbit, Wolverine? No, no, no. Fuck off and go do something else. Uh, no, we do not need that cleaned. Uh, clear that. This is this is not a need of cleaning, I'll tell you that much. This is not right now, it ain't. Yeah, Wolverine, go find a different pastime, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I could see that happening. Okay, small crisis averted for the moment. Now at least I know why they woke up. Good God. This is where I save a lot, by the way. Is There's just small shit like that. There's a cat snacking on an egg. It's always good. That's probably a fertile egg too, so that's one less chicken. Um, all it takes is something stupid like that happening. You're active. They're not awake. They're in your radius. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to get extra electricity around the place. Oh, it can do three of them. Huh. That could save me a lot of steel. Like, obviously, if that little nub breaks, it's not great. But if they can reach it, I'll see if I can get these because they're all even distance apart. So if one set can do it, the rest can probably do it. I'll do that because that's only going to cost me like two extra steel, give or take. It's great. I'm going to the middle of the side. There's with an inaccurate weapon and hunt a rabbit. Look, all it takes is one of these idiots walking in there and being like, troll -la, 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 la I'm going to set this shit on fire. Right? And then we've got a big ass problem. Like, the rabbit obviously got hunted. One of them got hunted. Somebody's hunting that one. Right? A bowman's doing it. Like, bowman's more likely to shoot my horse. 